In this section, we're going to walk through the installation process of getting Flutter up and running on a Windows-based machine. The first thing we're going to do is open up our browser and navigate to flutter.io. Once there, I'll find the blue Get Started button right on the center of the screen. Then I'll select Install on Windows. So there's two separate steps of installation that we're going to go through. The first thing we have to do is set up the Flutter SDK, which is going to allow us to create new Flutter applications and run them on our local machine. After we do that, we'll then do some setup for the Android emulator, which is going to allow us to run our Flutter applications directly on our machine, rather than requiring some outside separate device. Although you certainly can use a separate device if you want to. I'm going to scroll down a bit and find the section marked Get the Flutter SDK. You'll see that there's a zip file right here for download. So go ahead and download this zip file. Now I've already downloaded it. I've got it over here. I'm going to drag this zip file over to some workspace directory on my machine. Now, this doesn't have to be called like literally workspace. This will be just any folder on your local machine where you usually work with code. So I'm going to move this, fold, this zip file over, and then I will extract it here at this location. All right, so that'll take just a second to extract because there's quite a large number of files inside there. So while that's going, we're going to move forward. And we're going to take a look right here at the update your path variable. So at some point in the future, you and I are going to not, you know, you, you might notice that the directions right here say, oh yeah, you could start Flutter by double clicking Flutter console.bat. Well, we don't really want to go through that path in general. What we want to do is be able to use Flutter directly from our command line, be it the command prompt or PowerShell or Git bash or whatever it is that you might use in particular. So to do so, we need to now add Flutter so that file that we just extracted, here's the folder, it's now fully extracted right here. We need to add this thing to our path variable on our machine. And so we're gonna follow these directions right here for updating your path variable. To do so, we can open up our control panel. I'll then find user accounts. I'll find user accounts again. And then on the left-hand tab over here, you'll see change my environment variables. And so we're going to add an environment variable that points at this Flutter directory right here. So I'll click on change my environment, environment variables. And then on this window that pops up, I'm gonna find the selection for path right here. And we're going to try to edit that. So now in this list, I'll click on new and we'll type out the path to this Flutter directory, or more specifically, a very special folder in this directory called the bin folder. And so the easiest way to do this is to find the bin folder inside this new Flutter directory that was just created. And then we can cut or copy this entire path right here and paste it in as a new entry for the path variable. So I've now got workspace Flutter and then specifically bin in there. So then click on okay and OK again, and then I can close my control panel. OK, so that's pretty much it for setup on the Flutter side of things. Now, we do have to reboot Windows to actually apply this change and make that change to the path variable kick in. So at this point, I would encourage you to pause right here and restart your machine, and then join me in the next section.